Hi, my name is Attorney Walter Wolf, not the third. I'm with Disability Resolution PA. We're going to be going over question 184. Why did you have a gap in medical treatment from around when you initially filed to just before the hearing? All right, so this is basically where you file, you're getting medically treated for five or six months, and then all of a sudden, poof, no medical treatment. What this usually looks like is after denial, the person becomes like disenchanted with the whole disability process of trying to get medical treatment to show that they're disabled. And then they just fall off the earth and don't try to get further medical treatment. And it's too expensive. I have no insurance, blah, blah, blah. blah. And then all of a sudden, boom, right before the hearing, like three months, you're going to the hospital. You're doing everything right. Here we go. Oh, my goodness. I'm really excited to get to. That's what this whole question is about. So let's go back, reread it real quick. This is something that happens all the time. Um, 184, why did you have a gap in medical treatment from around when you initially filed to just before the hearing? Now, a lot of you guys will usually come out and say, well, I couldn't afford it. I couldn't afford the transportation to it. I didn't have medical insurance. I, you know, had a bad experience with that medical facility. The medical facility, they don't really do anything to fix me. Blah, 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 blah. Cha, 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 yada, yada, blah, blah. Okay, yeah. All right, there's no good answer to that. There's none, unless you geographically are physically incapable of getting to that area. Oh, it's so far away. Well, how far away is it? Oh, uh, it's about, you know, a 15 minute drive. Hmm. So if you're really that bad, why didn't you make plans, have a local community center help you? What, what, why didn't you? Yeah. But then there's the other side of the coin, which is like, OK, so where's the closest medical facility? Oh, it's two hours by truck. You know, that obviously, you know, if we're talking North Dakota stuff and stuff like that, that obviously is a different gig, gig, but not, uh, you know, but that usually doesn't happen in Florida, unless you're in like the really, really remote areas of Florida, which there are some that are super duper remote, um, but not many. Then in that instance, basically, there's really no good excuse as to why you have that gap other than you did not take your impairment seriously and you're now expecting the judge to take them seriously. All right, my name is Attorney Walter Wolf, not the third. Remember to like, subscribe. Also, the phone number's below if you want to catch up with me. Also, uh, for non-disability law firm related stuff, um, I go live, I donate two hours, I go live on YouTube every Thursday, 8 to 10 p.m. Call in, use a fake name, that way we don't have to worry about the whole attorney-client privilege thing, and we'll go from there. Thanks so much, bye-bye.